or the we'll co-founder. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Okay, awesome. She's the star. Okay, so we are live, guys. Happy Wednesday. Here it is after Valentine's Day. Um, and I got my special shirt on, Dogs Love Me, which I love. I think I wear this sweater almost every day. <laughs> Um, welcome to the Dog Is Good Lifestyle Show. I am Gila Kurtz, one of the co-founders and co-owners of your favorite dog lover lifestyle brand. And I'm super excited to hang out with Aaron and Michael today. So adorable. Hey. Hi. Yeah. We're excited and to be here. Great entrepreneurial minds and just go get them. And I'm just really excited to share that with you. So um, I want everybody to pop in. And as you are popping in, of course, I know some of you, but I don't know all of you. So please share with us um, where you are from, uh, who your dog is, and uh, just hang out with us for a little bit because we are uh, going to have an amazing conversation around the use of CBD oils and to enhance the life and wellness of your pet. So I know that you guys are gonna have a lot of questions also. So I definitely want to make sure that you get those in. And um, yeah, so it's gonna be a perfect afternoon. And you guys are up in LA, right? Yeah, yeah, we are. Okay, so you've been like me, like we've been trying to figure out life with rain. We just uh, don't yes. really. Where, where are you? Freezing. I'm in, I'm uh, about 40 minutes south of you in Seal oh. Beach. California. Oh, cool. And um, for people watching who are on the East Coast, like dealing with freezing cold temperatures and snow and ice and slush and disgusting, they don't want to hear about our trials and tribulations with um, downpours of rain. But I will yes. tell you, we, and we are wimpy. Yes. So, okay. So folks popping in and always a pleasure to see you oh, from Birmingham. Oh. And uh, she already, she gives uh, Sully CBD oils at night also. Oh, cool. I didn't know um, we could see the comments. Great. That's, that's yeah, yeah. Great. You can see the comments right there. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. So, guys, I uh, want to remind you, we always have a giveaway. So, if you are watching this live, you want to enter to win. And if you are watching this as a replay, you're not out of luck because we don't pick the winner until the next day. So, feel free to enter anytime that you are watching. But our giveaway today in honor of Dope Dog is first and foremost with a little bit of dope dog you need your aim high decorative magnet and of course a greeting card to go with that and a dog's dig me car magnet cool because his dogs love me and they dig me so it's awesome and then aaron and michael have been so generous you will also win a package of dope dog treats. I can get the real one. Yeah, let's get the real, yeah, get the real one. It looks way better. So yeah. calming crunchies and um, the soothing suds pet shampoo. So a shampoo that will also help calm the dog. And great packaging, by the way, you guys. It's Thanks. awesome. So please enter to win your giveaway. Now, um, hey, Jen. And Jen gives her dog CBD oils as well. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what that is. You'll have to explain that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even, I don't think I can even say it. Anna, Anna so um, yeah, I, I have a feeling like a lot of the people are gonna be watching us today um, have some experience with it and uh, others who are experiencing the behavior issues or health concerns that um, would warrant the use of the product. So I, I'm really excited to dive in here in a second. Um, also, you guys, I don't want you to forget to, we have a lot of cool things going on here at Dog is Good. So if you are not part of the newsletter, please uh, take advantage of that because you can um, get 15% off anything that you want and the Dog is Good store, um, but also get privy to some great um, uh, insights on specials and promotions. And we have a lot of great things that go on in the Dog is Good lifestyle group. So if you're not a member, you should join that private uh, group of all the dog lovers. And um, we have some other stuff, which I'll share with you a little bit later, because I want to introduce our guest to you now. And Barbara just joined us also. Wow, 13-year-old standard poodle. Fantastic. Yes. And in two weeks, a different dog. So this is going to be great. You guys are going to have a uh, Fantastic conversation. And Rhonda's in the yeah. house. Oh, no, Rhonda. I'm so sorry. So, uh, yes, we will. they will answer that question. So we're going to hold on to that for just a second and make sure that we get that question in there for you. Um, 
And uh, I miss you and I'm dying to come back to Hawaii. I'm just going to say mm. that. Let's, let's do a book signing in that store. <laughs> um, all right. So I want to introduce our guest today from Dope Dog. Perfect name. Love that. Um, they are Aaron and Michael from L.A. They are fantastic. And I just want to give you a little brief background. So I just I just met them live now. So. Yeah. Um, but I just feel like I, I'm very connected with you already. I just really like you guys. So Dope Dog makes innovative pet products designed to improve the quality of life for your dogs. Michael and Aaron created Dope Dog because of the issues that they faced with their own dogs, which isn't that how it usually starts, right? Solving a problem. Um, and they, what happened was they could not find holistic products on the market to help their aging dogs joint pain or their puppies back issues and discomfort. So they um, set out to bring quality wellness products uh, to market to help the, um, dogs. And after extensive research, they created a cannabinoid rich hemp product line that dogs absolutely love. Have peace of mind knowing that products are a small batch, human grade and third party tested to ensure quality and safety. So. Michael and Aaron, welcome yes. to Obviously Lifestyle Show. Thanks for, Thanks being for having on. us. We're excited yeah. to be here. Okay, so you kind of stated it in the bio, but let's go a little bit deeper. You guys were faced with a situation with your own dogs, something that, you know, obviously was a, it's upsetting to see our dogs in pain or discomfort. What was the journey? Like, how did the idea come to be? And what was the journey to take it from idea to an actual product that's now in the market? I, I guess it was over a few months, but it was definitely a time frame when my dog, James, he had two ACL surgeries and mm -hmm. I would say like three or four years after that, he was just, I moved into a new place that had stairs and he was just kind of struggling a little bit. And I think what he was on was the tramadol. It was just like the kind of anti-inflammatory yes. medicine. And he had kept getting checked up for his liver to make sure it was okay. And I, I didn't think it was really that great for him. We mm -hmm. went skiing and we In found Colorado, yeah, where we, it was completely legal at the time. Yeah. And then we found CBD and we're like, oh, this would be great. We started looking into it. And next thing you know, we came up with the idea. I mean, it didn't happen like that, but right. it took us some time and we came up with the idea and started doing research and started, started Dope Dog. And here we are. Right. So when you started doing the research, what did you do to, um, have your own dogs try the product and what kind of results were you seeing right out of the gate? I mean, James is having some issues. So kind of elaborate on the progress that you saw, the results. So I guess at first taking him off the medicine, I noticed that he was more active because mm. of, he had a lot less pain. So for me, that was just like, oh, this is great. I mean, you don't, and it wasn't harmful to him. And I think that was the biggest thing because a lot of these medicines, even us humans take aren't really great for our liver. And I think having that for your dog whose life expectancy is much, much shorter than our own, giving them something that affects their liver like that isn't very good for them. So I think just in general, that happening and his mood changing and his knees seem to be a lot better. He's jumping around. He didn't want to jump on the bed. And does it um, help with inflammation? Is that part of it? Yeah, it brings down the inflammation in. So like he had inflammation or pain in his knee and it can bring it down. And it's kind of like an everyday supplement as well, where you can just take it. Like we take it occasionally and put it into our coffee. We make a little bulletproof coffee and we drip a little oh. CBD oil in. And it just helps with the overall inflammation that day to day you just generally get no matter what you're doing. Right. So it just helps bring it down just a little bit. And yeah, I mean, now he's doing great and no pain at all. He's just like a puppy now. So, I wish I could turn the screen around so you could see the two pups, but you know, that's the first setup. But they're here, so yeah, yeah. being well, very well behaved. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, okay, so one of the things that I love about just our quick conversation we had before going live was that you guys are quite innovative and you're going beyond the actual treat. So, kind of share with us a little bit about um, product innovation and what prompted the development of new products to the line. Well, I'd have to give a lot of the credit here to Michael. He's always super curious of what products are out on the market and not even just within our space. So just always being ahead of the trend, 
searching the front page of the internet. I don't know where he gets all that ideas, but you know, just saying, okay, what's happening in the pet world? What's happening just, you know, here in LA, like what trends do we see? And, you know, how can we maybe apply that to dope dog? So, um, you know, what are pet owners really into right now? What are they giving their pets? Is it raw food? Is it this certain type of, um, you know, toy, whatnot, and kind of seeing how we can apply that to bring it back to dope dog, which is everything but CBD it, first. And it's also what, what we are interested in, what kind of we, I guess, would want, would want yeah. for our dogs as well. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. Now I, this whole, the market is blowing up. Like this is definitely on trend for sure. CBD for oil. Sure. My question would be, how do you uh, educate your customer in a way that is easy to uh, digest, right? When the person just really maybe has no knowledge at all. Um, how are you finding the, that communication goes down with, with the customer? And what are you finding to be the best practice to educate them in a way that isn't overwhelming? You, yeah, we get a ton of questions, whether it's, you know, on the computer or we do a lot of events, so a lot of in-person questions. So I'll always kind of bring it back to their particular dog and what the issues are at hand because honestly every dog is different and CBD is going to help in different ways depending on what the issue is. Um, mm -hmm. so trying to keep it really simple and straightforward. Um, and then I'd I like to go into how CBD really does work with both the human body and the dog's body. I mean, we really have a whole system that's an endocannabinoid system that's ready for these cannabinoids, including CBD. So a lot of people don't know that. Um, so that's just kind of the basic of how it works. And then we'll talk about um, the different benefits that CBD can provide, whether it's from, for anxiety or the inflammation piece, um, and kind of see if it can fit um, for their dog's particular needs. And I think, too, that it since it is so trendy that sometimes people come to us and just they think they're going to get an instant fix. And I think the whole education part comes in when we have to tell them like, well, here's what the issue is. It's not a magical cure, but it does help a lot of issues. And I, I think like us writing blogs or us, mm -hmm. we have a Facebook messenger feature on our website and we are the ones that are messaging and talking. And if you have a question or if you have an email, we answer everything that comes in because every dog is different and everybody has questions and no question is silly or dumb because you know people are curious and there's so many products out there it does get i mean we get confused yeah, we see lot. products yeah. like, how's that i have no idea right no absolutely well i would like to um i want to address one important question right out of the gate and that sure. is Rhonda's um with her senior dog so i'm not Rhonda. can you pop in and tell us how old your senior dog is i know it's a large breed dog um, is and Rhonda going to pop up on the screen too? Oh, or no, she won't. Uh, <laughs> oh, Rhonda's coming in. <laughs> I could. I could email real quick, Rhonda, but no, she'll pop in on the comments. So, Rhonda, okay. um, how old exactly? And um, what is the size? I know you have the large breed dogs. I can't remember if it was a lab or not. I, I think, she, I, yeah, I, I don't know if it's your lab that has the same because she has more than one dog. Um, is it this possible for this question? Um, Rhonda. Uh, Rhonda is no, this is a different one. Um, oh. Oh. 14 year old, 14 years old. Is this your lab or is this a, one of the, oh. the other ones? And uh, just recently lost all use of the back legs. So, oh, okay, 50 pounds. And uh, what else did she say earlier? Hold on, let me see. I'm just going back in the notes here. Where are the questions? Where are you, Rhonda? There it is. Um, that suspects neurological disease, possibly a slip disc, uh, would CBD oil help? And would it need to be an oral, um, intake or a yeah. topical? I, I think for any like extreme painfully, uh, painful issues, I would always take it orally just because you get a higher dose. I don't mm -hmm. typically think rubbing it on is actually going to help since there's a lot of fur and skin and everything like that. So just taking it orally will definitely help. Uh, I don't know if it's going to help with the, cause if this is a neurological disease, I don't think there's much you can do like repairing mm. the, but I think in general, just bringing down the dog's anxiety and just making them happier and kind of 
in their well, you know, being at home and just being comfortable with the fact that, I mean, your, your legs aren't working is, I mean, I would be upset. So I think just calming them down, but I just don't know if that would bring out, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say not for neurological disease, but anything around pain on the back legs or inflammation, it would help just their general yeah. happiness. Yeah. Um, but yeah, our puppy had some neurological issues and we do give her CBD, but it's not for that. It's just yeah. for overall wellness. Um, and yeah, definitely oily or orally. The tincture is probably the best way to get those higher doses. So a lot of our customers with dogs that are just experiencing cancer pain and they're kind of just on their last leg and they're just uncomfortable. We definitely recommend the, the tincture or oil, oil drops. Mm. Yeah. And Rhonda, something to consider too, in conjunction with the use of the CBD uh, treats might be um, some acupuncture as well mm -hmm. to relieve some general inflammation if that's part of it. Because it looks like you said neurological or, or possibly um, a slip disc. So um, that would Having had a disc issue most recently, um, acupuncture can play a huge role in anti-inflammatory as well. So yeah. That yeah. Good. Um, okay, so we actually, and you guys pop in the questions as you would like. We have um, some questions that were written in, um, that were sent to us sooner. So um, Charlie underscore Luke underscore Rusty, Charlie Luke Rusty, will CBD oil help relieve joint pain for her senior dog or his senior dog. Yes. That's one of the top concerns that people use CBD for. It's a CBD is completely an anti-inflammatory. So anything around arthritis and joint pain, um, mm -hmm. it will relieve the inflammation, which causes those issues. Um, so yes, it's, a, it, that's, and that's a great one to start when they're, when they're young, cause it's mm -hmm. almost preventative. Yeah, I was I was just going to ask that piece of that question, which you just answered. Is it this a product or um, uh, something uh, something that we should be using early on, just as part of like you know like vitamins regularly? Yeah, because inflammation I mean, we get inflammation from everything, from the foods we eat. I mean, yep. our environment. You know, there's so many issues these days. So it's su it's such a nice natural way to to know you're you're preventing those things and you're not you know messing up your system or anything. So mm. like Michael said, we, we put it in our coffee in the morning and it, it is just like a daily wellness supplement. Yeah, no, absolutely. And Rhonda, I'm so sorry that acupuncture has not been helping. Um, sending you big hugs for that. Um, okay. Another question was, are, and this is from WXO 70. Are oh. there any long or short term side effects? No, not that, that, not that we know of, not from any no side. I mean, just calmness. If you, if you take a, a high dose, you do kind of get tired, but I think that's really it. And it's supposed to be, it's not supposed to be noticeable. So for, for dogs, especially it's mostly, you'll see them either get kind of tired or calm or the reverse. And they'll get a little excited because they're finally not feeling this inflammation or pain or the, or anxiety. And I think that's great. I mean, you never know, you never know, like, Oh, we give it to our puppy and uh, well, not a puppy anymore, but she has some neurological issues. And I think it almost calms her down and she mm. gets more excited, which is kind of weird, but she seems happier Instead on of being it. scared. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think it's important to explain too for people who may not be familiar. So the, the CBD portion is the portion that is not hallucinogenic. So I mean, can you touch on that? Like the difference between the THC, if you will, and CBD so that people don't get confused. And, you know, we don't want to be giving our dogs anything that has THC. Okay. No. Um, we do get this question a lot. Um, THC is derived from marijuana and CBD is derived from hemp. So while both of those are in the cannabis umbrella, they're from different parts of the flower. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, you do want to stay away from the THC for your pets. I mean, I, I've heard of some people doing, you know, small doses of it, but um, it's just not really necessary. And you're going to be getting all the benefits of a lot of the benefits of marijuana from CBD anyway, minus mm. psychoactivity. So with an animal that can't speak and can't tell you, hey, I feel kind of weird, you wouldn't really want to put them in that position of, you know, having that mind, you know, high. Yeah. So yeah, CBD is, um, yeah. No, they're totally separate compounds. THC free. Yeah, no, that was a good, that was a good explanation. You know, um, because people often wonder, they just don't know. 
Yeah. So, uh, there's a, yeah, there's a really great question here um, from uh, Abby Amore, I think. Forgive me if I mispronounced your handle wrong. Um, and I didn't understand this question right out of the gate, but uh, someone explained it to me. So now I do. But the question was, can CBD have effects like grapefruit when taken with some medications? Meaning uh, the efficacy of other drugs when taken at the same time is compromised uh, in some drug instances with uh, if somebody is having grapefruit with it. So is that a risk with CBD uh, products? Can other uh, medications be compromised as a result? Yeah, we get this question a lot also. Um, we do we do tell our customers to just check with their vet if they're going to add CBD in addition to an existing medication. But yeah. CBD is so natural. It's plant-based. It's working with a, a system that's naturally in your body and it's not your typical pharmaceutical. So there, we've heard literally no issues of that, but I think there still needs to be more studies around it. Yeah, and if you're really, you know, and also certain medicines vets can't technically recommend it. So in a way, they can just say yes, this won't have any effect with alongside it. And I don't think the CBD taking in any other medicine is going to have any issues. But yeah, it's it's always good to check with your vet just to make sure because you don't you never know. Right. And so and taking a low dose and, and, you know, small amounts and test it out, you know, mm -hmm. and scale back or up as needed. But we haven't so, heard any issues around that. OK, good. So Anne is sharing um, her rescue dog um, had torn ACL, oh. started giving him a thousand milligrams of the CBD oil to help calm him down. Oh. Um, but now wondering how much is appropriate to give him on a daily basis. 30, uh, now 120 pounds, two years old. So I wonder if Anne is giving uh, the full spectrum or isolate. So we we use isolate. So I, I don't know if the milligrams to the full spectrum, which there's two different variations out there. Um, the full spectrum has more cannabinoids in it, but it's also the dosing tends to be a little different. So a thousand milligrams might only really be 100 milligrams, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, a daily supplement can be anything that you see fit, I guess, for the dog. And we base it off weight. So for our 200 milligram oil, and say you're giving it to a 20 pound dog, we would only give about a quarter of a dropper, which is like 0 0.25 milliliters. Because mm -hmm. um, we do uh, one milliliter, wait, Yes. One milligram per One every mil 10 pounds. Yes. Sorry, I'm getting all the math confused. In my it head. is confusing. Yeah. So for a 30 pound dog, you would start with three milligrams, one milligram for every 10 pounds mm -hmm. of body weight. But you can mm. scale that up to three milligrams for every 10 pounds. Yeah, so it just kind of depends. You do want to start off slow because it is an animal. Um, but yeah, for a 120 pound dog, the minimum starting dose would be 12 milligrams. And every dog's different. My sister's dog, for instance, he doesn't really you don't see much effect from CBD. So you could give him an extremely high dose and he has no effect. And he has like a neurological issue as well with a little shaky leg in the back. Mm -hmm. um, but I give six milligrams to my 70 pound uh, pit bull over here and he zonks out and he seems to be a lot better after. So I, I don't, it just kind of depends on, on the dog. Um, I'm curious when using the oils, like as a dropper in their water, let's say, um, if the dog does not consume the water, you know, let's say within a couple hours, is there anything regarding it standing there in water for the day? You know, because sometimes my dogs don't drink all their water right out of the gate. So I don't yeah. know if I'd recommend putting in water because since it is an oil, it's not water soluble. So it won't okay. absorb into the water. Yeah. Uh, I would rather put it onto a treat or a piece of like their kibble for breakfast or dinner. Just so okay. you know, you're actually giving, yeah. getting, getting it. In Okay. I, was yeah. like, I know there's some things where people put it in in the water. Um, yeah, there are some water soluble uh, products out there, but I just don't know how. I mean, it's tougher to gauge how much you're actually taking. So, how do you guys decide on the flavors? Like, I notice you have you know sweet potato, you got peanut butter. I mean, like they sound good. Like I would probably eat them myself if I was really hungry here. <laughs> um, <laughs> they I, sound good. I guess they are human grade. You can definitely take a bite of the peanut butter. It's delicious. I've tried it myself. 
I, I think we just go with simple. We don't like having, you know, peanut butter smoothie with like all these other mixtures in it. We just like to keep everything very simple um, because we wanted it healthy for our dogs as well. So we didn't want to put a lot of ingredients in it. Um, and there's so many allergies out there now too, you know, so the less ingredients, the better. And you, you're just getting the, like literally our treats have six ingredients. One of them's peanut butter, you know, one of them CBD. So the dog's getting a better flavor and you, as a pet parent, you don't have to worry about what is this ingredient I've never heard of, you know, right. <laughs> the digest. So we really do keep it very simple. Well, that's great. And I can see that there's a couple of questions as it relates to that um, for ingredients. Um, Mel's asking, what should customers look for on a labor label to ensure a quality product? Um, in relation to CBD, I would look for milligrams so you know what dose you're getting per treat. Um, because not just for the whole bag. Um, you want to make sure you're getting you know, our treats are six milligrams each. Um, we also have a three milligram treat. So you want to make sure you're getting a good amount of CBD and it doesn't yeah. just say like CBD on it. Or if it, if it just says hemp, it might just be hemp oil. Like you want to really make sure you're getting the milligrams of CBD, which is the product that's active and working. Mm -hmm. And that's what you should be paying for. And contact the company too. Like if you're using another uh, company, just contact them, send an email out to their, to whoever HQ and see what they say because yeah. a lot i know a lot of companies yeah. don't put how many milligrams they're like take one as a serving which doesn't really help you because you can't move away from that or go to an oil so i think like for us for instance and in, with dope dog we like to keep it pretty simple and say you're getting in true six milligrams here and there's 200 milligrams in here and the basic simplicity. That's, that's what we like for us. And you can always ask for a lab test. Um, we've got ours posted in the product description on the website, but that's also a good way to say, to find out, okay, this company's checking their stuff mm -hmm. before it's in, you know, just to make sure that the potency is there, that they test for all the met metals and whatnot. So yeah, which should be standard across the board, but yeah, you can always ask the company for that. But yeah, there's no standard yet. And I know that the farm bill just passed, but there's nothing that is, you don't register anything. So it's still kind of tough to verify companies. And mm -hmm. we, you know, we product, we check all the products out on the market and we do get confused as well. So if anything, if anybody has questions for us, like comment here, email us, Facebook, anything at all, because it is very, very confusing out there. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll put in the comments but uh, for you guys, but just so you know, you can go directly to dope dog. Um, dope it's dog. Dope dog. Yes, dope yeah, yeah. dog. Um, and find them on Facebook and I'm sure Instagram too. Yep. Do, is there a shelf life to the product? Yes. Cause we use, we don't really use, we don't, we try to stay away from preservatives. Um, so our okay. treats are about a year and a half. So mm -hmm. oh, great. You, you'll definitely finish them before they go bad. And then the oils do have a little bit of a longer shelf life. Um, cause it's just coconut oil and CBD. So those can last two years or more. Okay. And the treats already uh dried out so even if you leave the bag open they're not going to go stale or anything they're just preserved okay. as they are all right great so a couple other questions uh first question i want to ask from somebody watching currently is um products having different labels let's say you know something mm -hmm. that's uh, touted for pain something that's touted for inflammation let's say but it but it's the same product does it mm -hmm. Is it really um, the same or are there some differences that would qualify it more for inflammation versus um, pain or, um, yeah. I think Just, if, you know. if they're labeling it like that, then I would say if, if it's saying pain or inflammation or anxiety or whatever they label it with, yeah. if the milligrams go up, say for pain management, maybe, but if it's all the same milligrams, it's all the same product okay. inside of it. So there's no reason to pay extra Just for anything. Market. Yeah, just yeah. marketing. Okay, and then um, another question is around uh, one of our viewers is asking about their dog who uh, mm -hmm. recently had a tumor removed, fatty tissue tissue tumor. Um, if will the CBD oils help with that? Yeah, I think it would help for infl any inflammation post surgery. Mm -hmm. I think it would really help and pain management. Um, and yeah, and the pain management. And with pain mm -hmm. management, you'd always want to dose a little higher. And that you just kind of have to see throughout the day how they react to it. So 
just it, we, we kind of tend to see it like an Advil or an ibuprofen where you take it every four to six hours, just depending on pain. And the good thing about CBD is you can scale up and not worry about overdoing it. There's no overdose of this. I mean, there because there's no psychoactivity, there's no there's no negative of taking too much, um, minus mm-hmm. they might get really, really tired and whatnot. But um, that's kind of what makes me feel good about giving it to our dogs if they've just gone through something. Mm-hmm. You can feel good about so, it. So how quickly – you said, um, Michael, that James uh, – uh, tell me again the um, amount of time – that uh, passed before you saw he was getting results with, um, with the CB, with the CBD. I I mean, for me, I think it might've been the first day when I gave it to him. Uh, Now it does take a little bit of time sometimes for some dogs, just to depending on their system. Um, Mm -hmm. James, for instance, he took to it really well, but every dog is so different that I can't say that immediately it's going to work. But there is that kind of, um, what do they call it? Like that entourage effect where it, mm-hmm. where it does build up mm-hmm. over time and actually start to work even better. Because your body's like, oh, hey, there's that there's that cannabinoid. I remember that. You know, let right. me apply it to my system. Like it, it's it's like a muscle almost, which is, sounds kind of weird. But I think, you know. Yeah. There's okay. Some- and and um, they mentioned earlier about the difference between the hemp and the CBD oil. Um do you want to just take a second again, um, Aaron? Yeah, to just just make sure it's not hemp seed oil. Mm-hmm. I know there's some products that are very vaguely labeled hemp, and they have hemp seed oil, which is basically a cooking oil, which could provide some um, omega threes, perhaps. Yeah, fatty so there's acids. benefits there, but you want to make sure it's CBD from hemp, not just hemp seed oil. So the difference is the hemp oil versus hemp seed oil, and which I know sounds kind of confusing because you do want your CBD to be derived from hemp because then you know you're not getting it from marijuana with THC and whatnot. So yeah, ours is from hemp as well, but you want to make sure it, there's cannabinoid on it or CBD or something. Yeah. So you're getting an active milligram, again, checking for the milligram mm-hmm. amount will will lead you in the direction to know that there's active ingredients in there versus okay. hemp seed oil. Awesome. All right, you guys, um, please pop in any more questions. I am, I'm so impressed. I love your packaging Thanks. and I'm so excited. You guys are just now a year old, right? Yes. Yep. Just, just okay. a little over a year. Um, we went to Global Pet Expo last year, Super yeah. Zoo, and it was really fun to see because, you know, you're sitting at home, you're making this company, you're making the packaging, and then it's nice to go out and like, see the response and see the feedback and yes. have like real customers and real questions, questions. <laughs> and like, you know, it, it gets kind of crazy sometimes when you're just at home doing it all yourself. No, I totally, totally get that. And I know exactly what you were talking about. I, um, given that we're so close, we should try to connect before yeah. Super Zoom. Yeah. Um, but we'll be at Super Zoo too. So we should absolutely connect. Definitely. Um, and I just want to wish you all the best because it's it's a great product for an important filling an important need in serving the wellness of our pets and um, anything that can evo- help our pets, my dogs in particular, um, alleviate pain or discomfort. I mean, I think we're all about that as well. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for taking time out on your um, afternoon and I see gray clouds coming in. I'm hoping that it's not going to mean more rain for us. Oh, no. in, LA, we don't more rain. <laughs> in that. And let me make sure I asked all the questions. I think I did. Um, can, but- can we plug our, this is not out yet. This is our soothing suds. Okay. Uh, this will be coming out very, very soon. And this is kind of exclusive just to your show. No one else knows about this right now. Oh, so it's not out. It's not available for sale, um, <laughs> so but stay it, tuned. <laughs> it's going to be 100 milligrams of CBD. It's going to help soothe uh, any skin irritations, uh, moisturize that, hopefully take away some redness, um, and it smells really great. It's oatmeal and lavender, um, and whoever wins is going to get a bottle of this, so they'll be- Oh, my gosh. Um, the giveaway. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah, so you guys, you got to enter to win yeah. the product. And I would tell you guys also go to their Facebook page or their website, sign up for anything that they're offering as far as newsletter or blogs, because maybe you'll be the first to know the moment that does come to market. And, um, and I think that that would be really helpful for 
for you guys to yeah. gain access that before anybody else so give them your feedback share um share dope dog with your friends yes and um yeah thank you guys so much and for you guys out there uh thinking about entering to win uh, i forgot to retell you what you would get you would get an aim high magnet and greeting card and car magnet from dog is good and you're going to get some treats and the uh, calming shampoo from Dope Dog. So enter there. In the bag. Second thing you need to do is um, we launched this year. I was super excited about it. Super excited about the response to it. A 10-day fur-covered wisdom challenge. So if you love your dog so much, which I think all of us do, and you look at your dog and do all these things for them and look in the mirror and say, and don't do the same things for yourself. Well, this is a 10 day challenge to stop doing that. So that this is the year where you can learn to um, take on life inspired by your very own dog through their guidance. And so it's a 10 day challenge. You can sign up for that. Um, and if you're not getting your words of wisdom every Monday from your very own dog, you need to sign up for that too, which is for covered wisdom. So anyway, thank you guys so much. This was so informative and thank all of you for your great questions and participation. So um, have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. Take care and you guys stay on and I'll talk to you in a second. I'm just going to end the broadcast now. Have a great Bye. Wednesday. Bye.